Okay, vertical front jump throughs look. Let me get way back here. Okay. Vertical jump throughs look like that. Oh shit. <laughs> and then you jump back in. Okay. Um, really, uh, kind of, they're like intermediate um, jump throughs, but really feels really good once you get the hang of it because I don't know I like the way it feels to like let the hoop go down across my body but <laughs> regardless um, essentially you're just starting with an isolation in the front and when you get to about seven o'clock you're going to duck your body in so it's kind of like this and you're going to continue your isolation, but start allowing the hoop to come down. So from the front, it looks like this. So, and it's on, it's like touching the ground and down here. And then you're just going to jump out and keep going. So that's, um, you know, obviously that's just the, um, you know, basics. So, to make it more interesting, obviously, uh, you want to add your kind of flow into it. So, um, I guess one way I find easier to flow with this trick and to um, kind of make that landing smoother or whatever is to really crouch down and then, um, in my legs, use that power to push up as my arm pushes down and then to jump out one foot and then the other. And then I'm out here and you can go into all kinds of stuff. Maybe it's another exhalation. Maybe you do kind of a weave, um, fold it back in, you know, whatever. You're, you end up out here and you have a lot more uh, tricks that you can do. The other thing that you can obviously do is um, do it reverse. So let's say we're out here and this is the reverse um, vertical front jump through. So we're going to come down, bring the hoop slightly behind us, and then jump into it, and then you're basically just doing the same thing. Again, you're going to have your right hand on like 3 o'clock-ish on the hoop. It's going to come up, and then you're pulling yourself out of it, and then you're in a reverse isolation. So you need to be comfortable with reverse isolation if you don't know that. Um, so anyway, kind of doing this smooth and flow to get flowing together. You can do this, do it like that. Um, you can also turn with this too. There's a lot of ways to kind of move. It's a really versatile move because um, you know there's a lot of options once you get out of it because you're just like, oh hey, holding the hoop out here. Um, the other thing is to practice with your left hand because just like with your right hand, it opens up a whole new like set of like moves and transitions. So doing a clockwise isolation on my left hand, and then as I get down to my hips, hands on the inside, obviously ducking in, doing the same thing, letting the hoop kind of roll and my grip come to where my, my palm is facing forward jumping out and then coming up again. Then for reverse, same thing, back in, left hand comes up, back up to your hips, and then you're in this kind of thing. And then obviously you can do things like that too. Um, they do work really well into, as, into the transitions into barrel rolls, into other kinds of isolations, you know, you name it. Um, it's a really good move to know. Uh, vertical, front. yeah, okay, and then, actually, no, we're going to save that for another tutorial. All right, so, um, hopefully that helped you out.